Hello, I'm Atubo George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Can we call for that daily bread right now? Are you ready? Praise God. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. And it doesn't matter where you are. Don't just say it in your mind. Don't pray this prayer in your mind. Say it out. Remember what I shared with you yesterday? Angels are waiting to hear your voice. So maybe you're driving and this broadcast is playing right now. Hey, say it. Say it. Say it. Maybe you're in a bus and you're playing this broadcast. Say it. Wherever you are, say it. What should I say? Declare these words with me. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Yes, say it. Because you know what? That very place where you are, it's easy to walk in the blessing of God. I don't know why people struggle. I don't know why people suffer. I don't know. At, at least you're, you're, you're basic. Listen, God wants you comfortable. He wants you comfortable. He wants you comfortable. I remember a few days ago, you know, I was talking to my wife with, and we needed some money to do um, certain things. And while I was just contemplating on it and asking the Lord, Lord, um, what, what do we do? What do we do? And then suddenly the Lord had, the Lord put a word in my in my heart and said, call so and so person and ask the person when are they supposed to pay your money? I said, oh. So I called. I said, hey, when are you supposed to pay me my money? He said, ah, no, it's next week. Next week? I said, well, okay. And so I said, well, sir, please, um, send me your account number, I'll pay it. I said, well, okay. So real quickly, I just said, I mean, in five minutes, I saw the money, I'm like, oh, okay. Now, you see, the, the Lord knows what he has provided. But if you don't know, if you don't know, and if you don't walk in tandem, if you don't walk in, in partnership with him, you will suffer for nothing. My people are destroyed, not because the devil is great, not because there is nothing I can do about it, for lack of knowledge. I'm sharing knowledge with you. You should never be stranded anywhere in life at all. You should never be stranded. Never, never be stranded. I'm telling you, never. Make up your mind. I'll never be stranded. I remember traveling to Israel. And I got to Israel and realized my card wasn't working. Because I, I, I didn't know I was supposed to inform my bank. And so it wasn't working. The, the hotel I booked for that first night cancelled because because the car they didn't work. I, I only arrived there to realize that. I said, okay, I, I'm here now. Let me pay. Okay, it didn't work. So what do I do? I went to an ATM. It didn't work. Oh God, what, what, what's going on here? And I remembered. I said, Lord, I'm here now. And all the angels know that I'm here now. So I need help. Lord, I, I want you to lead me. I want you to direct me. And I sat down there. And the Lord said, ask this hotel to let you access their internet. I said, okay. I, I spoke to the man. He said, okay, no problem. I did that. And I started searching for another. Then I found. He says, go there. I went there, got there. I said, look, um, this, they said, no, we only accept card payments we don't accept cash payment i said well there is nothing i can do okay i have some cash can i pay with it no we don't i stepped back and i said lord but you directed me here and while i was someone walked up to me and said you know what i can help you i said okay what do we do the person told me what to do told me where to go to fix everything And I was checked into a room that I had not even paid for. I said, listen, no, you, you, you can stay, rest, 
when you're okay, take your time. Then you can go to Susan's place and make payments and all that. Now, I didn't suffer one bit. And at the end of the day, I didn't really have to, have to spend all my money. Why? Because I knew I can never be stranded at all. I knew. Listen, the, we are we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are foreigners living in this world. And, and listen. Our government, uh, you know, like Paul says, our citizenship is in heaven. Heaven controls the earth. So we've got lots of agents, you know, angels, our angels, right? They, they are everywhere on this earth. And they are the lookout for us. But if you don't know how to connect with them, you suffer. You suffer. Whenever crisis comes, your first thought should not be, hey, I'm in trouble. No, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. That shouldn't be your first thought. Your first thought should be, okay, Lord, we will fix this. I know we'll fix this. You know why? Because hey, there is no way. That's how I reason. You know, like, Lord, how come I traveled all the way? You didn't talk to me about this. I should have done this when I realized what happened. I should have done this. How come you never talked to me about it? And then I realized, because it's not important. Now, if it's not important, then he must have made provisions for me. And he did. He did. Listen, no, there is nothing. You think that rent that is due? Oh, can you imagine? It's my fault. If I have been saving money, by now I should have saved enough money to be able to pay this rent. No, stop. Quit that thinking. Quit. Quit thinking like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop blaming yourself. What you need now is help. And guess what? That help is available. Not just available. It's abundantly available. Take advantage of it. All the angels that are around you, they are ready to do something for you right now. Where that payment is concerned, where that bill is concerned, they are ready to do something for you right now. But what are you going to do? Complain or put them to work? Okay, how do I put them to work? Listen for the word of the Lord. There is a code, there is a word that the Lord will put in your heart. When you speak it, the, the angels have already been commanded concerning you. He said in Psalm 91, For he shall give his angels charge concerning me. If I travel to anywhere, before I get there, I'm conscious that angels have been given charge concern. Do you know what it is to give charge concerning you? Do you know what it means? Oh, oh, oh. You, you, you are expecting an important visitor in your house and you're not going to be around. So you tell your, your servant or whoever is in the house, say, look, I'm expecting this person. Make sure that room is clean. Make sure he's giving food. Make sure he eats what he needs. Now buy drinks, put this in the fridge. Do the, what are you doing? You are giving charge concerning that person that is coming. And you are giving charge to people that you have trusted to be faithful. You don't give charge to someone who doesn't know what to do. And you go do what you're doing. No, you mean to go no, don't worry, you'll be fine. Hey, wait, wait, I just arrived. Oh, yeah, they picked you up. Oh, yeah, they picked me up. Don't worry, you're, you're safe in their hands. Why? Because you've given charge. But if the person gets in and doesn't contact the number that you gave to them and decide to do whatever he wants to do, he suffers. Not because you didn't give charge concerning him, but because he, he tried to do his own thing his own way. 
That's what happens to a lot of people. Angels have been given charge. And it's not only your personal angel that was given. Every angel on the face of the earth have been given charge concerning you. Now listen, this is why it's important that you go where God commands you to go. Go where the Spirit of God is leading you to go. Because where He doesn't lead you to go, charge have not been given in that place concerning you. This is very important. If you go where God did not send you, no angel there will recognize you. Why wouldn't they recognize you? Because no charge was given to them concerning you. If someone booked, for example, if someone, you're, you're visiting the town, say, oh, okay, I'll book a hotel room for you. Say, okay, where? XYZ Hotel, number so two, so so and so street. Okay, thank you. And then you, you land and you say, I don't like that area. I'm, I'm going to another hotel. You don't go to this new hotel and you start saying that, um, I have a reservation here. By who? So, 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 sorry. We don't have such reservation. Why? Because that's not the place he told you to go to. Where he told you to go to, he had made reservations there for you. You go elsewhere, they are, they are not going to transfer that reservation over to this other. Until you contact the person and say, ah, why, why don't you just go to the place I reserved for you? That's what happens to lots of believers. You want to do your own thing and then you feel God must back me up. No. No. Before he commands you to go anywhere, he has already given angels in that place charge concerning you. So the moment you show up, he has put the word in your mouth to speak. That when you speak that word, the angels recognize you are here. They, they hear you. You are here. Oh, this is the person. Okay, you watch out. You make sure he gets to his, his, his residence safely. And then you make sure everything he needs is supplied. You make sure that's how they function. I wish God would open your eyes to see how angels work. You will be so amazed and ask yourself, why did I ever suffer? You are a king. God treats you like one. I'm telling you, he, he, he treats you like, you don't know the respect angels have for you. You don't know. You don't know. But I pray for you today. That this knowledge is not only resting upon you, it is becoming functional in you. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are experiencing in truth angelic ministration. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be blessed by this. Let this be your story. Let this be your testimony. I, I pray that this weekend will be the best weekend you ever experience. I pray you see provision like never before in your life. I pray the people God have sent to you will find you and you will find them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Praise God. Now remember the instruction I gave you yesterday. Break bread on a daily basis. Break bread on a daily basis. If you have a family, break bread with your family. Do it on a daily basis, especially this period. There are lots of things that are going to be happening and God doesn't want you to be in the crossfire. He's, he wants to take care of you. But hey, you've got to obey him. And that's how you obey him in this season. Break bread on a daily basis. I love you so much. Have the best weekend ever. In Jesus' name.